Now, the reason I think I'm here is because uh, I'm different. When I came here to get married in 1968, my husband said, oh, I must join the Royal Society. So I dutifully joined the Royal Society, and they had a Saturday morning outing to the zinc works, and we were all taken round the premises, and we got to the scrubbers, which washed out all the nasties, and it was a miserable little gadget with uh, little pellets of mercury coming out of it, and they ran down the gravel path right down to the main road, you know, past the bridge and so on. And these little pellets of mercury were crossing the main road and then they went down to the beach and into the river, see? And I, I could see them visually. And nobody seemed to have bothered about it. So I thought, oh, this is, this is ridiculous. So I went to the zinc works and I asked to see the manager and I went in and I said, you know, what do you, you know, how much do you know about how much you're polluting the river? Oh, he says, we have masses of data. And I said, well, uh, we've, we've been sending the divers down and things for years. And I said, well, what are you doing with it? And they said, he said, well, we, we don't know what to do with it. Uh, so I said, well, if you like to give me all the data, I'll give it to uh, David Rutkowski, our statistician, and he'll have a look at uh, you know, what, he, what he finds. So they handed over all their data, and then, of course, uh, the department said, you can't do that, you, you can't walk into the zinc works and ask to have all the data uh, like that. <laughs> so I said, oh, I'm sorry, but I've done it. Uh, so that's how, how I got into it and then I was told to, you know, ask first after that, but I don't agree that you should have to, you know. <laughs> I got into trouble for not having asked permission to do it, all this. Um, the, um, it did lead to the zinc works itself going down and testing uh, Ralph's Bay, which was a particularly uh, bad site. But of course, they said, oh, it didn't seem too bad. I said, well, where did you do it? And they said, um, oh, at the entrance to Ralph's Bay there. I said, but the stuff doesn't stop at the entrance. It all stops where it gets to the bottom. I said, have you done, you know, near the beach, right at the bottom of Ralph's Bay? No. So a few days later they rang up and they said, you've just cost us a million. And so, uh, so by that time we were well into it. The big picture was uh, that we had the worst uh, mercury pollution in, in, a, in a river uh, in, 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 in the world. And then of course there was uh, all the consequences like they had in Minimata, you know, where people actually died and so on. Uh, so we started also experiments with uh, cats and saw how long it took to poison them and that we did with, in conjunction with uh, someone in um, Brisbane. They caught a huge shark which was full of mercury and the cats were perfectly all right for about a hundred days and then suddenly, on I think it was about day 113, it comes to my mind, they suddenly went screaming up the wall. And I mean, lit literally, the film was extraordinary. They just went, they flew to this, a wall and, and went, screamed and went up it. We'd really done irreparable damage to the estuary because let's say we had a terrible storm or something today, even now, uh, the metals that are still perhaps buried there are all right. We've only got to get an earthquake or something like that. And they'd all come up to the surface again, you see. So uh, we've probably got one of the most polluted rivers in, in, in the world. I think it would be a terrible 
waste of money to uh, try and get it absolutely all right again myself, but that's just my per nobody's asked me. I think you sh should take personal responsibility for uh, telling something as you see it. If you, th you think you, you know the truth, you shouldn't wait for somebody sitting at a desk in Canberra who's never even seen the river, perhaps, uh, to, to say you must or must not do it. Uh, I, I think there's far too much um, uh, bureaucracy these days about what you can and you can't do. You've got to make an effort not to be like this in the future, but I'm not sure that it isn't a bit too late. I mean, we're, and uh, we're making the most dreadful mistakes with going for doing things at the moment which will make us money because um, because the bank balance isn't too good rather than um, attending to intractable problems.